All right, guys, I got my little uh, handheld uh, Canon camera working again. Um, I just took it apart, fiddled around with it, uh, put it all back together, and it's charging, so we're going to roll with it. Um, I, I got everything for this uh, E93. The bumper's just kind of hanging on there. Uh, yeah, the hood's on and all that stuff. So I haven't really done much since the last video, uh, just because I've been busy working. But uh, I did get some stuff today. I got uh, some coolant here. Uh, oil filter. I threw an air filter in it already. Yeah, I'm not going to record that. Um, so we need to fill the coolant up, start it, get the oil warmed up, and then do an oil change on it. Uh, so this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to use the Astro vacuum filler. Um, I, I've used this a, a bunch of times. I, I, I've made a video on it before, but it was when I had a GoPro with no viewfinder, so it's really kind of shit. So uh, this video is going to be uh, just a better video of how this tool works. Let's go. All right, guys, I did. This is the cap you need for the BMW, or at least an E93. Um, this is a 328i convertible. Uh, it's got a brand new radiator, so I'm in the middle of rebuilding this car, uh, and it, I had to buy a new radiator for it because uh, I, I just couldn't find a used one anywhere. So the radiator's completely dry. Uh, the, the, the broken radiator that I took out of it still had about half, it was about half full of coolant. Um, it had gotten, this car was hit up in here, uh, so it's, it, it's all being repaired. It hasn't been painted yet. I still got to paint it, but um, uh, mechanically it's all uh, put back together and uh, yeah, we, we just need, you know, I got a couple of jobs I need. I need to refill the AC. I had a new AC condenser in it. Uh, I want to do an oil change on it. So before we do any of that stuff, we got to get the coolant in it. So this is going to be a demo on using the Astro, I forget the number, the Astro 78585 kit. So uh, I, all, all we need to do now is you know, grab your air hose, we're going to uh, pull a vacuum on this system. Uh, so it's, it's pretty simple. I, I can't hang this from the, the hood latch because the hood doesn't have any latches on it because they're off because i got to paint it. Um, so we don't really have anywhere to hang this from, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm just going to hold it for you guys. Hopefully that works. If you can see it. So make sure we get this in the frame. Here we go. Uh, so this has two valves. Um, this guy's closed. Uh, this guy's open, which is fine. We're going to turn turn our switch on. Um, we're going to draw a vacuum, lock this switch off, and then we'll turn this valve off. Got some old coolant coming out of it. So that's that's about as far as I go with BMWs, uh, because they they've got all these plastic connectors on the ends of all the hoses, uh, and I don't like to get them under too much vacuum. So I, I always stay under a bar, uh, like 0.8 of a bar. Anything else, and you can you can get in some trouble. So um, and even that's somewhat questionable. So what we're going to do next is we're going to hook up to here. We're going to drop the other end of that in our. Uh, uh, coolant jug, and we're going to fill the system. Um, if you look at your radiator hoses, like all the hoses for the, the coolant system, they're all squeezed flat. Oh, sorry. That's how that works. Let me, uh, let me grab, grab our suction hose. And then we're going to drop this end into a jug of coolant. We're going to fill our, uh, fill our coolant system up. You know what? I might have one of these open. Let me go see if I have one open. Uh, I don't. I thought I did. Uh, I must have, uh, must have used it all last time. Grab our suction hose, uh, and this is also a good check. Like if you've replaced a part in a car, or you know you want to make sure you don't have any leaks anywhere, you draw a vacuum on it. Just let it sit for five minutes, uh, and make sure you don't lose it. If you lose that vacuum, you've got a problem. Uh, when we don't, we're good. Which means our brand new radiator is good. And hopefully, you guys can see. 
we're going to crack this guy and uh, it'll just suck the coolant right out of the jug uh, and into our system. Boom, just like that. And that's it. Uh, it'll fill up pretty quickly. And we're gonna, our jug's going to empty pretty quick, so we've got to be a little careful here. Uh, these don't have an expansion tank, so to check the level, there's a little float in here. So we're just going to let it fill up until there's um, no vacuum left in the system. My jug's getting kind of light. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how it still works. Um, oh, there you go. We we dropped a gallon in there, and we're we're down to 0.6 of a bar. So we we need to sw switch over to another another jug here, and uh, and keep going. Here's our second jug. I'll reopen. That's it. This should do it. I didn't look up to see how much this takes, but it shouldn't be more than two gallons. I wouldn't hope. Yeah, 0.2 of a bar is what it's sucking in at. So I hope that you guys can see that. Now we dropped a little below 0.2. Uh, and once all the vacuum goes, it, it basically just stops sucking. That's it. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. And this is sucked in. Let's see, it looks like about half a gallon already. So hopefully we're getting close. Freaking got a mosquito bite. Fucking see that shit. Fucking mosquitoes. Yeah, now we're down to. We're closing in on point one of a bar, so the system's almost full. And you can always, once you get this close, you can always like lock it off, remove it, and take a look and see how close you are, and then just manually top up the expansion tank. Uh, but this this gallon here is almost gone as well, so this thing must hold almost two gallons. Uh, when you do a, a rad change. So we're, we're almost to zero here, so. Yeah, there we go, we're, we're pretty much at zero. We're not, it's not doing anything. Now. So let's uh, we'll shut it off. We'll take a peek. We'll see if our float's even moving. Uh, Little bit of coolant fall back into the jug. Right. I'm just draining the hose, that hose, back into the jug. So it only takes a second. You can see, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, it's perfect. Now we still got to start it up. There's probably a couple of air bubbles, but we can check with this bleeder screw right here. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much we're pretty much done here. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. It's full. Uh, I'll show you guys that kit. Yeah, by far the easiest way to uh, to refill a coolant system. Uh, we used. This one, number 17, for the BMW, so that's the, the part number for it. And that's the original cap, so I, like I said, I just grab that. I look at the, each one until I see which one looks the closest and stick it on. Um, it also has the pressure pump too, so if you got a leak, you can pressurize your system and see if you can find your leak. And the part number is 
uh, Astro 78585. Great bit of kit. I've had it a while. You can probably tell the dust on it. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty good kit. Uh, I have the Airlift one too, but I just use that one all the time because it has the, the caps for this. So, oh, yeah. There you go, guys. That's it. Real quick video. Or hopefully it's quick. I don't know. <laughs> uh, on how to refill your uh, cone system with that, that Astro kit. Uh, I've had it for a couple of years. I've used it a lot. And uh, I've never had an issue with it. It, it. Great, great bit of kit. Expensive, but for, for stuff like this, it's, yeah, it's awesome. Thanks for watching.